campers. I'm so glad to see you today. Today, we're going to make a centerpiece for your table as a decoration for your next meal together with your family. It can stay there as a reminder that God draws everyone together at the table. Here are some things that you're going to need. Different colors of tissue paper, scissors, and possibly a grown-up's help, pipe cleaners, and then maybe some things you find outside in your yard. I made several different little flowers out of tissue paper and remember these 
the curly cues. And then you know what else? I went out in my yard and right now I have daisies growing out there. So I picked some daisies. Daisies are some of my favorite flowers and I thought they'd look good in the centerpiece too. Then I got a mug. Now you can use anything. You can use a cup or if your parents let you use a vase or a mug like me, you can. Since I have real flowers, I'm going to make sure I add water to this so that the flowers get a little bit of moisture while they're sitting there today. Let's see. If I just put everything in like this, I don't know that that looks super pretty. So I'm going to have to think about what's going to look good for my centerpiece because I do want it to be special. So one little tip that florists might tell you is that the tall flowers should be in the middle. So I have to figure out which flower I want to be in the middle. I kind of like this one. Okay, so that one can stay in the middle. That means the rest of these flowers, they're all too tall. So I'm going to just simply bend my pipe cleaner to make them smaller. And I can change that if I want it to be smaller again, shorter, I can do that. Okay. So I'm going to keep working on this, arranging my centerpiece so it looks beautiful for my dinner table. <laughs> it. It's fun, it's colorful, and it's ready to go sit on my dining room table so we can enjoy it for dinner tonight. I hope you have fun making your centerpiece and I would love to see it. <laughs>